Hey guys, it's Jennifer here and welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog is going to document my finals week at UC Davis. It is my first ever college finals week. Um, last week of the fall quarter. Hopefully it all goes well. I thought it would be an interesting thing to kind of show you guys because everything's virtual. I'm literally in a completely different continent. Um, so we'll see how it plays out. Today is actually Saturday and I'm starting early because I mostly have papers due for my classes. I do have one final that I'm gonna have to sit but mostly it's papers and I just have to submit them by a deadline. That means that I really shouldn't leave everything to cram the day before or the day of. More on that later, but right now I need to make some food. Let me give you guys the rundown. If you've seen my other college vlogs, you'll know what classes I've been taking, but I'm just gonna go through them one by one and let you guys know what I have to do. To begin, cognitive science. We do not have a final because my professor is just the most amazing ever. Next class is wine making, which we will have a final to sit. Thank God it is asynchronous so I can do it at a reasonable hour for me. That isn't until Tuesday for me, so on the back burner for now, we'll look at that later. Now, the two classes that are more urgently needing my attention. To begin, we have English literature. I submitted my final paper yesterday, which was this like 2000 word compare contrast essay. And then I have one more assignment, which is take home essays. Obviously everything's at home, but it's the name of the assignment. Basically, we have to choose four prompts and write a five to 600 word kind of short essay as a response for each one of those prompts. That's what I need to get going on. And then my last class is philosophy. This class, I have struggled so much just because the logic and reasoning and just way of thinking is so, so, so different than anything I've ever done. And just having to write philosophy papers is just not. Just having to sit in front of my computer for hours on end, like trying to reason why we do not have free will is not great for my mental well-being, but that's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. But thankfully the hours have been paying off so far. I did well on my first two essays and I have a third essay. And after I'm done with that essay, I'll be done with the class. So not too much happening. It's definitely a lot of difficult things, but very manageable. So for today, I'm gonna do two out of the four prompts I have to do for English and get started on one section of my philosophy essay. I'm pretty sure I've been working on this for about an hour, but I have finished two out of my four English prompts. I'm gonna save the last two for tomorrow. I am going to set English aside for the day and move on to philosophy. Finished with the section of my philosophy essay that I wanted to get out of the way today. So I'm feeling pretty good. I pretty much finished everything I needed to finish. And now I'm gonna get changed and go work out. All changed. I wanted to go for a run, but it's literally pouring outside. I don't know if you can hear. Literally, as I was getting changed, it just started raining and thundering. So obviously, I can't go run outside. I think what I'm gonna do is just go to the gym. That is the plan. Good morning, guys. Okay, it's really not morning anymore, um, but I just woke up, so it's morning for me. My sleep schedule has definitely been a little messed up. I've just been going to bed at like three in the morning doing absolutely nothing. There's no reason for me to be up. I have been watching Hell's Kitchen on Netflix, which is just really entertaining because 
I don't know why. Today is actually gonna look a lot like yesterday. I have to finish up two more English prompts and then I'm gonna be done with that assignment basically. And then I have to write another section of my philosophy essay. Nothing crazy, very manageable, but I know that my brain is gonna feel a little mushy after I'm done because there's just so much um, thinking that is required. That's the plan for today. Now I'm going to somewhat get ready and see you guys in a little bit. Update, I haven't done anything really, but I am about to make my second cup of coffee. Let's get to work. Memories of you fill my head Recently I've been thinking about your smiling hair Instead of focusing on me, I've been focusing on you First prompt of the day done, now on to my last one for this assignment Memories of the time we spent back when we were so in love with us Second prompt is done So my English assignment is essentially done and Technically, I'm done for this entire quarter, so I'm done with the class. But what I like to do when I write is that after I finish, like I have just now, I am going to set it aside for today and come back to it tomorrow to kind of proofread and just see if there's any holes in my lines of reasoning and if just like double check if everything makes sense. But I like to give myself that little break away from this kind of bubble of thinking just so that I can come back with a fresh pair of eyes. So I'm not going to submit that until I double check and read over everything. But that's one thing done for today and I have a philosophy left to do. I'm going to take a little break by cleaning up my room and then jump right back into work. Sunny days where we just done with the section of my philosophy paper I was supposed to finish today. I'm supposed to study for my winemaking final tomorrow because the final is the day after tomorrow, but I think because I finished a little earlier than expected, I'm gonna get a head start on that. I got started on studying for my final, but I think that I'm just gonna be calling it a day. My brain is definitely feeling a little fried and I'm honestly just really overdoing work at this point. I've given myself enough time to just get what I need done done. So I don't think it's gonna be too big of a problem if I just let myself take a break. That being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. So on the agenda for today, I really only have one thing and that is to study for my winemaking final that I have tomorrow. As you can tell, I've already gotten ready and that's because I'm actually about to head out to lunch with Ella and we're actually gonna do some work together. So I'm just gonna be studying and I thought I would bring you guys along. This is the outfit. I'm literally just wearing a top and leggings and then I have all my stuff in here. I'm gonna call a cab and get going. The holiday. The happy holiday. Sing for the holiday. Uh, 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 uh. Sing for the holiday. The happy holiday. Have a happy holiday. Uh, uh, uh. Sing for the sinners and the hard luck winners, long time losers, career boozers. Sing for the ones that got away. Sing like I'm praying for an act of God. Hello guys, so I never ended up wrapping up yesterday's vlog, but as you saw, I ended up finishing studying for my final and also submitting my final English take home essays. That being said, I am now done with my English class completely. I read through all my short essays a solid couple of times and edited a couple things and I'm feeling pretty good about them. Today I'm going to set aside two hours to take my wine making final. I think that might be it. I'm going to see how I feel after I take it. If I'm up for doing more work, I'm going to try and do some of my philosophy essay because that is going to be my last assignment. Right now I'm going to take my final. Officially done with my final, which means that I am done with my winemaking class. I got my grade right after, which is honestly kind of scary, but I'm really happy because I am finishing this class with an A. And now I'm going to meet up with my parents for lunch.
It is now around 3 o'clock, 3.12, and I've just gotten home. This never happens to me, but I completely forgot to film my food. I literally don't even know how it slipped my mind because I always remember to record, but I ended up having some scrambled eggs on toast and a little bit of avocado. Unfortunately, I only have the finished product to show you guys. It was very delicious and I'm actually feeling like getting some work done. I think I'm going to work on my philosophy paper. It's like the last thing I have to do before I'm done with finals. So I'm definitely very motivated to like get it out of the way. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish today, but I'm definitely gonna get started because I'm very much like in the mood to actually do some work. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. Gonna get changed into something a little more comfortable and get to work. Update, I've been sitting here for like almost an hour. No, like maybe 45 minutes and I've written half of a sentence. I just have no ability to focus. Like my concentration is just not here and I just, I so badly just want to get it done, but I also just don't want to do it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to go about this. It's been another 45 minutes and I have written what I needed to write. Going to do the same thing I did for English, which is set it aside for today. Come back, look at it tomorrow with a fresh pair of eyes and see if everything makes sense before I hopefully submit it. Now I'm going to change and go for a run. Changed, and I'm gonna go on a run. It has been raining the entire afternoon and it has just stopped, which means the weather will be really nice and cool, but it will be super humid. So I don't think it'll be too bad, but I just wanna get a run in because it's just been raining so much lately and any chance I get to go outside, I'm gonna take it because I hate running on the treadmill. Let's get going. It definitely started pouring. <laughs> There's nowhere I could go, like, I'm literally sprinting. It's literally pouring. I found an umbrella. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm definitely soaked. Usually I don't mind running in the rain, but it's literally like a heavy downpour. So I think I'm gonna wait for it to die down just a little bit and then just keep running, stop if I need to, and try and make it back home. Update. I feel fine, but I'm in the bathroom because I'm a little concerned about my AirPods. I think they're supposed to be water resistant, but it's like really pouring. So, also gonna dry off my phone. I just don't know what the smart thing to do is. I think I'm gonna put these in my pocket. Also, mask isn't on because number one, it's not required when you're running, and two, there's literally no one else in here. Are you surprised? I'm the only person that's in a garden while it's pouring. Yeah, I don't know. I think. I'm just gonna call last and try to get home because this rain is only getting bigger. Made it home. It was definitely a good workout, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I ran super fast, but I'm soaked and now the rain has stopped. I, I, yeah. This whole experience just speaks for itself. What a day. For the rest of the night, I'm just going to have dinner and then allow myself to just kind of sit down and relax. Probably gonna try and find a good movie to watch or just something that'll be easy to take in. I feel like I've done a lot of just work today, so I need to unwind a little bit. So that's the plan. I will see you guys tomorrow. Pretty sure that I'm done. I've read through this a couple of times, but I think I'm gonna go over it one last time before I submit it, just cause I just have to do it. I literally reread my work like 10 million times before I feel good enough to submit it. So I'm gonna give it one last look. Hopefully the next thing you see is me submitting my last final. Officially done with my first quarter of college. I am truly so exhausted. My brain is just completely shut off. Super excited that I'm finished and I'm feeling pretty good. I think my finals went pretty well, but that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and just seeing what finals were like for me and my approach to studying and getting stuff done. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. All of my social media is down below and I will see you all very soon. Bye.